providing updates in different versions. In this video, you'll learn how to provide updates for your software users. It's really simple, so let's get started. Start the brander and select the software you want to provide an update for. Next, click the Clone button at the top. Give the new software branding file a name. This file is an exact copy of the original .tsb file you loaded inside the brander during Step 1. You might want to name it the same as the original file, but with the number 2 at the end of the file name. Now you can see the cloned file inside the Brander window. Select the cloned file and then click on the Model button at the top of the window. This is the same software, so keep the software title the same. The only thing you want to change here is the version. Currently, the version for the software in this example is 3.5.0. This is an update, so your version number should be set higher than the current one. I'll change the version number for this example to 3.5.1. If this were a major update and not a minor one, you would probably want to change the first or second number of the version instead of the last number. For this update, I'm just going to change the software to a different skin design, but you could add new pre-filled content as an update, or even add a new browser URL. After you're finished, click Save, and then click the Tools tab, and click Create Setup to create the new version of your software for distribution. When a software user downloads the new version and clicks to install, the previous version will be uninstalled by the new version and replaced. None of your software user's personal data will be affected by the update. Cloning is also used for creating something like a light version of the software and a pro version. But in a setup like that, you would not change the version number. You would keep the same version number and give the software title for your light version a name like PLR Center Light or PLR Center Basic, and then for the cloned version, something like PLR Center Pro or PLR Center Complete. A setup where a light and pro version would be appropriate, for example, would be when you want to offer a light version without pre filled content and a pro version with pre filled content. In each case, whether you use cloning to provide updates or set up light and pro versions, the new version or new upgrade will not destroy your software user's personal data already in the previous version. And that's how you provide new updates and versions for your software users.